Hello Pelican Sound members, head golf professional Tim Harris talking to you about the new 2019 modernized rules of golf. Uh, we're going to discuss penalty areas again today. I know in a previous video we talked about that, but I want to talk to you today about penalty areas that are specific to Pelican Sound and some of the areas around Pelican Sound where uh, we would designate as a penalty area. Uh, I'm on the left side of the fairway here, and as you can see, my ball is inside the red line and the red stake. When you have red lines and red stakes as indicators, it's pretty easy to determine what is a penalty area and what is not a penalty area. So as I described earlier, under the new rules of golf, if your ball is in a penalty area, you can remove loose impediments, you can ground your club, so you can go ahead and play it as it lies if you would like to. In a situation like this, I can go ahead <clears throat> remove some of the pine straw that's around my ball if I want to and when I go ahead and try to take my stroke I can ground my club as you can see here now if this ball was maybe a little bit closer to this grass here and I couldn't get a club on it well then I have the option of go ahead and dropping it where it last crossed the line under penalty of one stroke so with the new rules also you have to drop it about knee height put your ball in play there it's within the two club links from where it last crossed and I can go ahead I can go ahead and play my next shot now there are plenty of areas at Pelican Sound that don't have the red line or red stakes on them and then I want everyone to be clear about what penalty areas can be designated as going forward because under the new rules of golf areas that are called jungle like or have palmettos or have pine straw and things like that can be designated as penalty areas the reason being is because you can ground your club anyway you can go ahead and remove loose impediments so you know what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a little tour around the golf course a couple of specific examples i'll tell you what hole number it is and where that area is and describe to you why it's being called a penalty area even though it does not have the red stakes or the red line. So let's go on over and play a few uh, holes out here. We're on river hole number five, the par three, and we're on the left side of the hole here. And this is one of the examples I wanted to show you as far as what defines a penalty area now here at Pelican Sound. So I'm standing in what is uh, a typically called a waste bunker. Um, and within the waste bunker, there are some trees, pal you know, palmetto bushes like this which sometimes can eat up your golf ball. Um, so under the new rules, the fact that you can ground your club now, you can remove loose impediments. We are considering any area of the golf course through the green, which means with the exception of sand bunkers, actual sand bunkers, uh, that do not have natural turf, whether they're maintained at fairway height or rough height, those areas are deemed now to be penalty areas, even though they are not marked with any red lines or red stakes so I'm standing in this waste area over here if my ball comes to rest in the waste area that's considered a penalty area now obviously it's not in much trouble here I can go ahead and I can hit the ball I can ground my club and hit the shot but let's say that the ball ended up near this palmetto bush okay and if it was even in the palmetto bush kind of like that unfortunate Obviously, I wouldn't be able to play that ball. But now, since the palmetto bush is inside the penalty area, if I would like, I can pick that ball up and I can come here at the edge where the naturally maintained turf meets the sand. And I can use that as my margin of the penalty area. And I can go ahead, I can drop my ball within two club lengths and taking the one stroke penalty. Okay, so you still have to take the penalty stroke, but I can go ahead and I can drop my ball out here on the turf. Drop it at knee height and go ahead and play my next shot. Whereas under the old rules of golf, if I found my ball in here, I would have to take an unplayable lie and I would have to drop from this spot so I would still be dropping in the sand. Okay, so that's the difference with the new rules of golf, is that any area of the golf course that's not maintained with natural turf, meaning fairway height cut grass or rough cut grass, is going to be considered a penalty area. 
So I'm going to show you a couple more examples on a couple of the uh, different courses now going forward. Now where you have a situation that's very unique to Pelican Sound, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to bring this part to your attention, um, we're on the left side of sound hole number eight. So if you can picture it, it's the par five. All the way up the left side, we have various outcroppings, as you can see here, um, with trees and palmettos. And then as you go across, you have the cart path. Then you have more palmettos. And then on the other side, you have a sidewalk. Then you have grass maintained turf. And then you have the FPL easement. So I wanted to kind of go through various situations that you could encounter when you hit your ball on the left side of sound number eight. So as you can see here, we have rough grass maintained, and then you have the edge of the dirt, the pine straw, sticks, you know, so as I was saying earlier, any area that's not maintained with natural turf, and it's natural, like dirt, like we have here, and my ball is sitting in here, that is considered now a penalty area, okay? Even though I can have a, a clear swing here, I have no problems hitting this shot, I can ground my club, I can move loose impediments, I can go ahead and play the shot. Now right behind me is palmetto bushes, and we've all hit balls in the palmetto bushes, and then for whatever reason, the ball disappears, we can't find it. So now, let's say my ball flew into this palmetto bush, and I search for it three minutes now under the new rules of golf, you have three minutes to search for it. For whatever reason, I can't find it, okay? Under the old rules of golf, you'd have to go all the way back to where you last hit, and you'd have to drop, and then you'd play your shot from that point, so you'd lose stroke and distance. Now with a lost ball, as long as everybody did see it come into this penalty area, you can go ahead and you can drop, look for the edge, two club lengths from where it last crossed that edge, and play your ball there with a one stroke penalty. Okay. So significant change there. Lost ball in the Palmettos. You don't see any red lines or red stakes here, but because this area is not maintained with natural turf, it is now considered a penalty area. So the same applies as we go over here across the cart path. This area here is not maintained with natural turf. So this area is considered penalty area. I mean, very easily a ball can go in here and get lost or in some of the thicker bushes that you see over here. Um, so if your ball does get lost, the same rule applies as we were just talking about. Now on the other side of the sidewalk over here, this area is maintained turf. So this would not be considered a penalty area. Okay, so you can go ahead and hit it, but we don't have much in the way of palmetto bushes or anything that would make you lose your ball anyway then you have the FPL easement over here which as a local rule is out of bounds okay so if your ball lands over here you are out of bounds now if you remember going back to the out of bounds rule your ball is out of bounds over here you can take your ball and go all the way across to the fairway and you can drop your ball on the edge of the fairway that's closest to where your ball lay out of bounds with a two-stroke penalty Okay, so you do have to take the two strokes, but it saves you from going all the way back to where you last hit. It saves you the distance. Okay, so that's another specific example for Pelican Sound that is unique, and I want everyone to understand that. And we'll go out uh, to one more hole here, and we'll discuss another situation. We're on Lakes Hole number three, uh, down the left side. It's the par five, and uh, I wanted to bring you to this area because again, I'm trying to be a little bit more specific about certain areas that can be designated as penalty areas here at Pelican Sound. So as you can see, we have the naturally maintained turf here uh, going right up to this edge. And then from here on, we have dirt, pine straw. We have the uh, little uh, grass bushes that are lying pretty much all the way down the left side. And then you have the cart path. And then on the other side, you can see there is a red stake down there. So those have always been there, and that designates the penalty area on the other side of the cart path. But this area right here is practically, you know, it's always in play, and it's never been marked with a red line. It's never had red stakes on it. So if your ball came in here, and let's say it disappeared into one of these little grass uh, bushes there, and disappears, well, then you had to go ahead and you had to take a drop from there. Usually no closer to the hole, so you'll be going back away from the hole 
Um, but now we can take it out of here. We can look for the edge where it last crossed. We can take a drop with a one stroke penalty, two club links out, and go ahead and play the ball from there. But I wanted to bring you out to specific areas of the golf course at Pelican Sound that have these situations. I just want everyone to be clear, the USGA has allowed clubs to designate areas of the golf course that have, I won't call them unusual, but abnormal maybe ground conditions to deem them as penalty areas. So the natural uh, surface has to be in play here. So when you look at it, yes, red lines, red stakes designate the penalty areas. But there are a lot of areas here at Pelican Sound that we don't have the red lines, we don't have the red stakes. <clears throat> so to make it simple, turf that's maintained at fairway height or rough height through the green. That's the important thing to remember, through the green, which means it does excludes sand traps, the sand bunkers, okay? But any other area that does not have naturally cut turf maintained at fairway height or rough cut height will be considered a penalty area, all right? So when you're in a penalty area, all that really means is that you have options. So you can go ahead and play it just like you would normally any other shot because you can remove the loose impediments, you can ground your club, but you do have the options. If you don't like your lie, you can go ahead and you can look for the edge where it was, uh, the grass is maintained and you can take a, a penalty drop from there, okay? If you have any specific questions about penalty areas, you can always come see me and ask me. Send me an email. We've also attached a video to this that shows specifically penalty areas. But this is specific to Pelican Sound, and hopefully everybody understands the new rules of golf going forward. Thanks for the time.